Hello and welcome to another lecture. In this lecture, we're going to go ahead and learn how to make uh, structural grid and levels. And then later on, other, uh, next time, we're going to go ahead and use a beam and column. Uh, let's go ahead, open up your uh, um, advanced steel. Then go, let's click on new. From a new, if you're using a 25 version, just click right here and open up an AST template. You should have this palette on your uh, one of your monitors, if you got a dual monitor. If it's not there, it's on the other monitor. And if it's not there, go up to the ribbon. We talked about this last time. Go up to the ribbon right here where it says Advanced Steel. If you click on that, it goes away. You click on it, it comes back. So this is for another one. Uh, come up here from a Home tab. You know, there's a different tab right here. Go to the Home tab. From home top, click on a, a grid line, building grid line. And then when you click on it, down here, it will ask you to put in the point. The original point is going to be 0, comma, 0, enter. So now you have uh, pushed down on the wheel of your mouse, and you can move these things around if you want. So now we have 0, 0. It's asking for the second point. So the second point is going to be 75. I'm going to put a foot mark on it, which is uh, right there. And then I'm going to put comma and then put 40 with a foot mark on top of it. And like you see on the screen, click enter for good luck. And there's what we have. And let's clean this up a little bit. While you're here, click on one of these vertical lines. See this vertical line? I click on it. You can right click it, go to, uh, uh, whoop, that didn't work out, hold on. click on it and then right click you can go to advanced uh, property you come to here or what you could do click uh, double click on it I will bring you to the same page right here now while we're here take a look at this column right there and you have total group and a total tab right here says balloon structure make that to an ending and then our number, we want to keep this number. That's fine. Let's just get out of here, go to group. In the group, we have one. Let's make this to a six. Just when I do that, watch, watch this right here. So I'm going to make that to a six. And then when I click away, and this become a six. And it makes it 15 feet. That's good the way we like it. Let's close this out. Okay, now let's click on the horizontal line this time. That's the line. Double click it, and we're going to come up here. In the total group, uh, let's make that to an ending. And also, instead of a label tab, let's make it a, let me see right here. These are all number. I'd like to see a letter right there. So right here, instead of number, I'm going to type in capitals. And there it is. It changes it to a capital letter. And in a group, let's just make this right there to a 20. And when you hit 20, look look at the 4 right there. It's going to change so if I hit 20. 20, and when I click away, and that become a 2.5. One thing you got to make sure is this is 20 feet. See, last time we said 20. And if I go over here, that takes us a 20 inch. See what happened? But you want to make sure... It's one foot, eight inches, so it's just 20 inch. So I'll say 20, put the foot mark on top of it like that, and then click away, and then that's what it's going to look like. That's what we'd like to see. So now we got a, a B, C. If the, yours uh, kind of, you can grab these right here, and then you can extend them, grab the end and pull them out so it's beyond it. Let's add another line right here. Let me close this out. And we're going to come up here, go to Object, and from there, see this plus right there? Click on that plus. When you click on that plus, make sure you see it didn't work right there. i got to do it again. Click on plus, and there your cursor should have that square in there. Bring that square, click on the number 6 right there, click on it, and hit Enter. And it's asking you how many axes you want. Click on type 1, Enter. And this is how many feet. I'm just going to type 4 feet. And I'm going to click enter. 
and this is going to give me another one. So now go ahead and let's put the level on. Come back in here. Let's go to a home tab. From a home tab right here, where it says Project Explorer, click on a drop down error, Project Explorer, and click on Project Explorer right there. You're going to have this open up. You want to be in a structure. There we go, in a structure. Now I want to set level. Come up here, see this icon up there? Click on this one, which it says uh, create level above or below. And you click on that. This icon open up. First, we're going to create level zero. So make sure this one right here is add level above is clicked. And then we're going to do level zero, which is going to height going to be zero. And click OK. Then we're going to go ahead and do it again one more time. This one, we're going to go to level one. Our level one, let's make it uh, 12 feet or 15 feet, I don't care. So let's say 12. 12 and height, I gotta put the foot. See, when you see, I type 12, it says one because it reads as a 12 inch. Make sure you put a foot mark on top of it there and it becomes 12 foot zero inches. And level below is level zero, so click OK. And I'm gonna go click level number, make level two. So we already did level one. Level two, it says, you want to go another 12 feet? We could. Or you can change it if you want. Doesn't matter. So I'm just going to leave it at 12 foot per floor. And click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and make one more level for good luck. And there we go. Level three, 12 foot, which total height of the building will be 36. And the height of the level is going to be 12 feet. And low, level below three is level two. I'm going to click OK. Now if you look at the, my draw and you can see all the level are stuck on top of each other. We can shut these off. We can uh, do all kind of stuff right here. See right there? They are, you can deactivate or activate. If I click on this and right click, oh, didn't mean it that way, and right click and activate, deactivate. If I deactivate it, it will get rid of the level. Just look at the screen. It's gone. And I'm going to deactivate level 2 also. Well, I have to click on it first, right? Or you just click on the light, right? The light bulb. All I have is two level left. Or you can click on this one, shut this one off too. And it's gone. Or you can turn them all back on. You can go to the workspace right here. And then you can set the top and bottom, which is going to be on the top. So make sure you turn these on first, and it shows all the level. So my top level is going to be, click on that, and I'm going to say my top level is level 3. And then you can come back in here, bottom level, you can make level 2. You can do all kind of stuff. So from here, this is just, let's finish up right here. When we're going to come back, we're going to go ahead and uh, um, work on beam and column. You can also watch my previous one on this that I made last year. Take care. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.